The next step in my LS project is installing an ATI Super Damper. I measured the crank snout diameter and the depth, making sure that it matches the numbers on ATI's instructions. Some quick math shows what depth the ATI damper will have when it's fully seated. The hub and the damper have a small dimple. That dimple is the clocking point for both parts. Install the damper onto the hub. Put Loctite on all the bolts, then install the countersink bolts. The aluminum AC pulley goes on next. Please note that all bolts must be used in this damper. Snug down the bolts. The T40 Torx countersink bolts are torqued to 16 pound-feet. The three 5 16th bolts are torqued to 18 pound-feet. Clean off the crank snout. Since I'm not keying my crankshaft, I will need to fill this channel up with RTV to avoid oil leaks. An oil-safe RTV is used for this. Place the damper on the crank snout. I lock down the flex plate with the cheap tool that I got off eBay. I'm using some grade 8.8 .8 all thread with some oil on the threads. Some washers and a grade 8.8 .8 nut complete the tool. Use a long breaker bar to install the damper. This requires a lot of force. I measured the damper depth to ensure it was seated all the way. And the number matches perfectly with the math that we did earlier in this video. Next comes the ARP damper bolt. ARP Ultra Torque Lube goes on the threads and both sides of the washer. The ARP crank bolt is then torqued to 230 pound feet. I used some wood to support my engine stand because 230 pound-feet is a lot of twisting force. Torque the ARP bolt to 230 pound-feet. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.